got this email from this Joel person. You interested in selling your place? And at that point, it hadn't even crossed my mind. It was going to be my retirement income because I was renting it out. No offense to Joel, but I deleted his email. And then a couple weeks later, lo and behold, there was another email. A light bulb went on at that point, And I just thought, you know what? Why not? Just do it. The rest, as they say, is history. Did not do any research at all. Like I say, it was like a light bulb went off all of a sudden. And I thought, you know what? I've kind of over this, kind of figured out how much rent it would take to collect as opposed to selling it and how much income I would get from selling it. And so, you know, I thought, well, geez, you know, I might not be around to see that. Just thought, you know what? I'm just going to see what he has to say. I called one of my brothers who bought and sold a lot of homes. And what do you think? Because it's scary. You know, he says, do it. The market right now is just booming. Just do it. It's time. It's time. And so I contacted Joel. Oh, he was so easy to talk to, you know, very friendly, personable, and I felt comfortable. Didn't get any sense of typical salesperson, you know, shoving it down your throat. Nothing like that at all. Worked around, you know, our schedules when we could get together. So what we did, met at the house. He came to check it out, went from there. I was renting it, and obviously when you're a landlord, you know, you have great tenants and you have not so great tenants. You know, I had been doing that for a while and had some horrible experiences. Uh, the last couple that I had living there happened to be son of a friend of mine. And, you know, sometimes that kind of doesn't work out. And with COVID, you know, they had they all got COVID. And so it was just kind of financially they were a little in a, you know, little rough place, whatever. And nice person that I am, you know, don't worry about it. Don't pay rent until you catch up and. But then I thought, you know what, darn it, it's time to think about me. What do I want to do? What, what, what am I foreseeing for my future? You know, what would make me happy? Came to that conclusion. And when Joel mentioned, you know, how the market was and how fast things were going. And I thought, you know what, this is all perfect timing. This is a time, you know, to do it. I had thought maybe 20 years ago of selling it. It was funny because a friend of mine was a realtor. And when he told me his commission, I'm like, heck no, I'm not giving you that kind of money. Literally, that's what made me change my mind. Literally, I thought, no, is this how it works? I really didn't realize it worked like that, you know. But thank God I didn't sell it, you know, because of the way everything turned out, 2008. Just felt really blessed that this is the right time for me to do this. I am already of retirement age, but I'm gonna wait a little longer before I actually retire. Just worked out great. Yeah, just a good feeling about it, very good feeling about it, to know, you know, that it's possible to do this and, and to make a right decision. And obviously with having a great realtor, you know, it just made all the difference in the world. As I mentioned on the, the little testimony I did, no matter if you're buying a car, you're buying a home or selling a home or selling anything or buying, it's very daunting because you start to kind of doubt yourself, like, okay, am I doing the right thing? And people were, why are you going to sell? And then you're going to have to go rent someplace. So that's okay. It gives me the opportunity to go move where I want to move, you know, and that's the way I looked at it. And I don't know what really what my future holds, but wonderful. My life's wonderful right now. So I um, feel great with my decision to sell. He knows what he's talking about, you know, mentioned that he looked at other areas that were more expensive, you know, so this was kind of our starting point. But I'm telling you, I was shocked at how quick it sold and for what it sold for, you know, and I was just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, this is, this is just a blessing. Talk about for my future, for my retirement, you know, it's nice to have that kind of income and stability and just the reassurance, you know, that uh, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I can't say anything negative, nothing at all. And then when Joel wasn't available, then I uh, worked with his dad a little bit and that was a pleasant experience as well and they're just the same you know dad and son and just the nice personality and temperament I really appreciate that because I'm not real good with pushy people even if I love something their attitude is going to make me make a decision if if I do it or I don't but it, it just all almost was kind of a whirlwind you know just boom boom and done and I'm happy very happy. So I immediately sent him, he was out of town, but I sent him a text and I said, Joel, I freaking love you. 
I said, tell your wife not to get mad. But I love you right now. That was how excited I was. I'm not saying people should do that or say friggin', but I was uh, so excited that that was my first thought. Like, oh my God, Joel. I'll be friends with Joel, like, from now on. You know, like, we've made a friendship and I just feel like, you know, he's my, he's my buddy now, you know, so... Uh, anybody that's thinking of purchasing a home and you work with Joel and Ken and just be confident that your best interest is their best interest and they're looking out for you and um, they know what they're doing. They're experts at it and um, they made it what could be a daunting experience. They made it to be a wonderful experience. And I'm very happy, very blessed to have met them and worked with them. So I'm glad I answered that email the second time. <music>